sometimes we encounter situations where we really don't want any stabilizer left behind the um, project that we're working on, the fabric that we're working on. But on the other side, we know that we need stability while we are stitching the embroidery or stitching the design or doing the embellishment to the fabric. So what do we do? So at Floriani, we created a product that is so much fun. It's called Wet and Gone. So literally, you wet this product and it's gone, it disappears. But the, the fantastic part about this product is that it is a woven fabric-like material, not a film, it is a fabric-like material that actually will hold a lot of stitches. One layer of our Floriani Wet and Gone will hold up to 15,000 stitches. That's a lot. And so it's wonderful for making lace, for holding um, a design positioned in the hoop, and then again, it will all wash out. Um, I've got a wonderful sample here of this is a design by Trevor Conkergood, one of his lace doily. Um, I'm going to get this up here where everybody can see. And simply all I did was hoop two layers, because this is stitch intensive, uh, of our wet and gone product, did the design right in the center, and then when the stabilizer rinses away, it leaves beautiful lace. If you have not gotten into lace making, I encourage you to do it with Floriani Wet and Gone. It is so much fun and quick and rewarding, and it is a great gift to give at a baby shower or a wedding shower or Christmas. It's really good for Christmas gifts or Hanukkah gifts. Um, any kind of ornaments or uh, anything, it's, it's just so much fun. I love to make bookmarks. That's, that's my latest thing. I love to include a bookmark anytime I send a gift card to a niece or a nephew or uh, an aunt. Um, instead of just sending a gift card, um, I will definitely just chunk them a little um, bookmark right in there. And I'll show you some of the ones that I've made. Uh, this is uh, one of my lace pieces. Uh, very, very simple. Can you believe that this only took like 20 minutes to stitch this out? Rinse the stabilizer out and while, voila, you've got a bookmark. Um, here's another one, even more simple. This one takes about eight minutes to do. So absolutely so much fun. And there's nothing to it. The, the machine does all the work. You just hoop the stabilizer. Again, you're, you're wet and gone and stitch the design, rinse out the stabilizer and off it goes. Now, that's one of the great characteristics of wet and gone is how easily it rinses. It's, it's literally holding it under cold water or room temperature water and away it goes. There's no residue left and there's no smell. Now, if you want your lace stiff, like if you're trying to do some ornaments, um, let's say for Christmas or um, a sachet or something like that, then you don't hold the piece under running water. You just literally get it wet, set it aside, and let the remaining stabilizer be absorbed into the threads, and then it will be a nice stiff piece for you. So below is just an example um, of some of the pieces that I have created. This is a gorgeous sachet that's filled with lavender. Again, very simple. Just put a piece of organza on the back and you've got a little pocket there to um, hold the lavender. Uh, these are some lace bowls. This particular design is by Zunt. And here we've used our metallic thread in the top and the bobbin. Uh, one thing that I do want to tell you when you are making lace to be sure that the design says free standing. If it is not free standing lace uh, on the package, the design package, then uh, when you rinse the wet and gone away, the design will fall apart. So very, very important that you know that the lace is free standing. If you're not sure, or if the design is just so beautiful and you want it to be uh, similar to freestanding, insert a piece of organza in there and I'll show you what I mean. Organza is a great way to save any of those designs or to create something unique. Uh, I have to show off this. This is uh, a lay that my friend Debbie Homer made. And this project is actually on our website. Uh, our website is a wealth of information, tons of free projects, uh, and this is one of them. This is our lay. We talk
taught uh, embroidery seminars in Hawaii a couple years ago, uh, and we were there for almost three weeks, and so we knew that our uh, lays would not make it to regular flowers, so Debbie decided to make one that was permanent. So I love this. All of these flowers are embroidery. They were all stitched out using this technique I'm gonna show you, which is uh, organza, and then you sandwich basically a layer of the wet and gone in between and hoop it and then do your stitching. The great thing about this technique is you'll notice these are two different colors of organza and be sure and try to use nylon organza. That's the best for this particular technique. And then we stitch the design out directly onto the organza with the wet and gone in the center. Then you're going to take, we showed this earlier, this is your heat craft tool and you're going to burn away the excess around the outside of the flowers and voila, you have got freestanding pieces that can be made into multiple things. This is um, a sample of our beautiful Floriani um, family lace, and it's not made to be freestanding at all. But you can see we just inserted a piece of organza right inside, burned away the excess, and you have got a beautiful heirloom there. Uh, so you, you basically can turn any design into something that's freestanding just by adding that organza in there. That's also how we did the trim on the bottom of this blouse, as you can see. Okay, so really, really nice. Uh, again, just organza with the wet and gone. Do your stitching and then burn away the excess. And then obviously you wanna wash out the wet and gone as well. And then we applicate it right onto the blouse. So a great way uh, to stitch and stress-free because you're doing it not on the garment, but you're doing it on the organza and the wet and gone, which I love. Now I'm gonna set these all aside and I wanna show you another family member uh, in the wet and gone.